Hola, you amazing artist. Multiple streams of income. I'm sure you've heard it, but what does that even mean to an artist? So you're going to be talking to the business side of Rafi that every once in a while has to step in and tell the artist what to do. We're going to be talking about money and how you as an artist should be considering multiple streams of income to be able to supplement your artistic lifestyle. So multiple streams of income, all that means is that you have different methods in which you make money by doing your art. So ideally what you want to do is grab a notebook and write some of these down so that you can take a look and see where you're getting the most income and where you should apply some of your attention. The corporate side of me gets boring every once in a while when he's talking about business but this is important if you want to make a living as an artist. So let's get started. Commissions are where somebody contacts you because they're looking for something specific. I am a little bit picky when it comes to commissions. I want to make sure that whoever is commissioning me understands full well the type of art that I do and that that's what they're going to get. When you're accepting commissions, I would suggest not just jumping on every commission. Make sure that there is some kind of understanding that it is something that you want to do. Make sure that you fully enjoy whatever it is that you're working on when you're working on a commission. So that's just my extra tip there. Another stream of income for me are markets and festivals. It's the perfect opportunity to get your stuff out in front of people and talk to people. When you're thinking about doing festivals or markets, that's what I would look at. How much of a chance do I have to get out in front of people and talk to them about my art and make them aware that I exist? Another stream of income for me is galleries. I show my work at galleries and so I sell work out of galleries so that is a stream of income for me. I also have on my list um, restaurants and coffee shops. I display my work in different restaurants and coffee shops and I've sold pieces out of there. My online store is another stream of income for me. So I have a online store. I actually have an Etsy shop. I took advantage of their Etsy pattern where they create a storefront for me with my own web domain. So I have an online store and that's another place where I make income from. You know, you're watching me on this. I also make an income from YouTube. It's really not that big. I think in the last two years I've made like 200 bucks. So that's not something I could live on, but it's bonus because I enjoy making these videos and I'd be making them anyway. And it's kind of nice to be getting some, you know, nickels and dimes for doing it. Another stream of income for me is doing commercial projects. Like recently I did a mural in downtown Pensacola. There are grants and things like that for cities that you could take advantage of when you're doing a commercial project. So I would take a look at your local area and see what kind of grants they're giving out to artists and what kind of projects and whether or not they fall in line with what you do. Now, these next few are things that I don't do. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't consider ever doing them, but I, it's just something that I haven't done. One of the things that artists that I know do to supplement their income is they teach workshops. If you are able to teach a technique to somebody or to put together a workshop, that is a good way to bring in some income every month. I forgot that I also do live painting events that I get paid for. So if you are willing to do a live painting event, that's something else that you could put in as a supplemental stream of income for you. Something that I know that a lot of artists uh, do is crowdfunding. They'll do uh, crowdfunding for like specific projects that they're thinking about working on. I haven't done crowdfunding. I don't really have much experience with it, but figured I'd add it to this list. And the last thing that I don't really have much experience with, but is something that I'm looking into is licensing. That is basically where a company takes your image and they sell it on their mugs or cards or stuff. And every time they sell something, you get a certain percentage of that. I'm sure that there's other streams of income that I'm missing. So if there's anything that you could think of, just add them to the list below and I'll share them in a future video. So yeah, that's my list so far. Hopefully that helped you guys somehow. It's something that every once in a while I'll look at and see if I could add something to that list because I feel like if you put all your eggs in one basket, for example, if I was relying only on the market and the weather is not good for an entire month, then that means that I wouldn't be making an income for an entire month. I read somewhere that if you have 10 multiple streams of income, 
that you're pretty much set as far as a full-time career. I don't have 10 and I'm doing pretty well, so it's something to consider. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. I totally appreciate you. And if you like this video and you like what you see here, just click on my face to subscribe. Adios.